He's back! What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making a game loop. Uh, we're not really going to be making it though. We're just going to be downloading and importing a package that I've already made for you guys and you can use and then you can just tweak it to how you want it. We'll go over how to do all that later on in the video. But for now, I'm just showing y'all what it's going to do once you import package and ungroup the things where they need to go. So we could see that it was in the intermission state in the beginning, then it went to pregame and then it went to game active. Game active counted down from five seconds to zero. Once it got to zero, it actually went into a different state, sudden death death state where it counts upwards and it'll actually just keep counting forever until the team's score is not equal to zero so we've got this game loop set up around there being two teams though sudden death is going to keep going until the score is not tied anymore and so the only way we can get it out of sudden death is to change the team score so just imagine if you had like a first person shooter like a team death match then you could easily make it so the game would go into sudden death if the game was tied and then it would pop out of sudden death as soon as we change board so let me show you how to do that now though uh just for testing purposes with, without having to program or, or build a game or anything like that you just go to home like current client this will take you to the server so then on here you just go to the teams folder and then just select one of the teams and there's a team score value in there just make that anything but zero so we'll just change one down here we see start post game we click current server now client uh we're back in intermission and then it'll go to post game because remember we just changed the team score so the score did not reset we haven't done anything to reset the score and so that's why it's just uh gonna continue in this game loop forever now so that's what this package is going to do. Let me show y'all how to get this into your project. Because I spit hot fire. Once you get your project opened up, what you're going to do is you're going to right click anywhere. I'm going to right click in the workspace and I'm going to do insert from file. And then you're going to locate the file that you just downloaded from the description. It should be called game loop. Double click it to open and it will insert it wherever you click that. I did the workspace, so it's right here. It says game loop ungroup me. So we're gonna ungroup it. Now you got five things. You got ungroup and server script service, server storage, starter GUI, replicated storage, and teams. So I'm gonna drag them all to where they need to go and then just ungroup them all at once. So drag to server script service, server storage, starter GUI, replicated storage, and teams. Ungroup teams, ungroup starter GUI, ungroup and server storage, ungroup and server script service, and ungroup and replicated storage. There you go. If you hit play now, it should be working. There's intermission, free game, game active. And remember, it's going to go into sudden death. And there we go, it's counting upwards. That's how we know it's in sudden death. So we gotta go and change the team score in order to get it out of sudden death. I'm changing it to one, press enter. That should kick it out of sudden death. Go back to the client. There we go, we're in post game and it should go back to intermission. Then pre-game, then game active, and then sudden death. Oh, not sudden death, excuse me, post game because the score is no longer tied. So there you go. Now let's get into how everything is working. So let's see, we got these events right here. So just imagine the game has different states. It's got your intermission state, your pregame state, your game state, your sudden death state, and post game state. Now these events are what are going to fire off each one of these states. So they are in the server storage. Uh, you got this configuration right here also in your server storage. This is where you set the length of each state in seconds. I've got the game length set to just five seconds just to show y'all it working. But I mean, you can make it whatever you want. So five minutes would be 300 seconds. Intermission length, I would normally do like 30 seconds or a minute or 60 seconds, I mean. Post game length. I usually do like 10, 10 or 15 pre-game length, about 10. Sudden death length could actually be deleted. This is not needed, So we're actually going to delete that now. And I'm going to update the package uh, to where you don't even see that. So just ignore that part. And then let's see. So then you got the GUIs 
Uh, I call them GUIs, so GUIs for each state, except for the sudden death state, because it's the same one as the gameplay. And each one of those has, has scripts attached to them. Uh, we're not gonna get into the scripts of those, all it's doing is just whenever the state changes, it's checking to see if it's that state and then it just activates the GUI for that state if it happens to be the state it's currently in. I hope that made sense, but yeah, we're, we won't get into this. Just trust that it works. It's not complicated though, if you do need to take a look at it and tweak it. Yeah, so let's get into the actual scripts though that do the magic. So it's in server script service, game loop, and there's a script for each state. So it's broken up. So you can look at each state and make changes if you need to. So we'll start with the intermission. So start intermission is getting all the variables it needs on the start intermission event. When it fires at the beginning of each one of these, what we'll call them states, is when you do the logic you want to run at the beginning of each state just once. So just at the very start. And then this for loop is what counts down the state. So once it gets done counting down the state and it, there's nothing left to count down, it, it reaches zero. In this for loop, it moves on to what's fired at the end of the state. So at the end of the start intermission state, we say start pregame, fire. Not fire. And down here is just a line that's only in this start intermission state. It's because it's the very first state that is being fired whenever a new server boots up. We wait five seconds just to let that server load anything else that it's loading. Then we start the intermission whenever a new server starts. And so we'll go to start pregame now. And it's pretty much the same thing, but just wired up to work with pregame instead of intermission. So here again, we fire at the very beginning of it. We're saying, hey, now the state value is pregame. The state timer is the pregame length, however long the pregame length is. And then we count. That's when we uh, count down. You can see I, I put notes here. Uh, this, these are just examples of what you could do at the start of the state. It's things that I usually do, like reset the players to a certain position, freeze the players in pregame so they can't move until the game starts, and you unfreeze them whenever the game starts, which would be the next state. So the same thing at the end of the state, start game fires. So now we're going to move over to our start game script. Here it just has the more variables it needs to grab in order to make the timer work in the UI. Other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. The beginning of the state, this is the stuff that fires. You could do other stuff like unfreezing the players. Then the for loop is just a little bit longer than the others, just because it's got some more variables it's got to account for, like the minutes, seconds, and timer. But other than that, it's pretty much the same exact thing. But if you move down one, this is this is where it fires either a sudden death or the start post game state. It says if the game is tied, if the if the team scores are not the same, then it's going to do post game. But if the scores are the same, then it's going to do sudden death. So let's go look at sudden death first. The sudden death is a little bit different. It's got like all the same variables and stuff from the from the game state but at the very beginning it's setting everything to zero waiting a second and then instead of a, a for loop it's doing a repeat wait until loop so what it's saying is repeat this code the code that's right here repeat that constantly until the score is not the same so every second this wait one is what makes it wait every second it's going to run this logic right here it's going to move the timer up one one second and then it's gonna to check to see if the score is tied. And if the score is not tied, then it's gonna move on to the last line, which is start post game. Remember, as long as the score is tied, it's gonna just keep repeating this logic over and over and over. So we will go to our start post game script now. Again, it's the same thing as all the other ones, except for sudden death. You got logic at the beginning, you got your for loop, and then you got the last line to start the next state, which is intermission. And then we're back to where we started. So that's pretty much it guys uh i hope it's helpful to you in making your game uh again you should be able to just bring in this package and it should just work for you just ungroup it where it tells you to ungroup everything and tweak the settings to how you want for the intermission length game length pre-game length all that stuff and uh, yeah enjoy oh and if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing uh, it really does help me out tremendously i'm trying to grow this channel to be one of the best roblox developer channels out there got a long way to go but i think we can get there just need your support and your help so if this was helpful to you just please consider subscribing and turning on notifications and i will see you guys in the next video what is it what's wrong sister oh!